Welcome to Timekeeper Training. In today's segment, we will be discussing the alternate work schedule, otherwise known as the AWS codes. There are going to be five common AWS codes that the Timekeeper will choose when they are creating and submitting schedules. So let's briefly go over the five AWS codes. The first code is AWS Code Zero. This will be the most common AWS code. This is going to be for your full-time employees, which are scheduled with five eight-hour days, 40 hours each week, and hours not crossing the day divide. And also for your part-time Title Five employees who work eight hours or less each day in a pay period. Your AWS Code 2, this is going to be a gliding schedule where credit hours are allowed. Also, if your employee is working a true flex schedule, AWS Code 2 will be used as well. AWS Code 5, this is a maxi flex schedule. This is only going to be for your SES employees only. So, for example, the director of the facility. Your AWS Code 6, this is going to be for an employee on a compressed schedule where the hours are unequal week one and week two, less than eight or more than eight hours in a day, and for full-time employees on crossover tours. So, for example, if you have an employee that works a 549 schedule, they work 36 hours the first week, 44 hours the second week, for a total of 80 hours, that employee's AWS code will be a six. For AWS code eight, this is going to be for an employee on a compressed schedule for the hours are equal week one and week two, and they are less than eight or more than eight in a day. So for example, if you have an employee that works four 10 hour days week one, four 10 hour days week two, they still have even hours week one and week two for that 80 hours. However, since those hours are more than eight in a day, that AWS code will be an eight. And we will now show you examples of how these AWS codes work. We are now going to go over the three basic AWS codes that the Timekeeper will use most of the time. So for example, we have our full-time LPN employee. Our employee is working from 2.30 p.m. to 11 p.m. Monday through Friday, week one, and week two. So we notice Monday through Friday they work eight hours each day for a total of 40 hours week one. We also notice week two that they work 40 hours week two. Since our employee is on a non-compressed schedule and they're working even amount of hours week one and week two, we know that the AWS code located at the far right of our screen of the schedule the AWS code will be zero. Our next example is for an employee that will have an AWS code of a six. So notice our example here for our full-time GS employee. For week one, they are working Monday through Thursday, 7 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., nine-hour tours for a total of 36 hours week one. Week two, they are working 7 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday through Thursday and also an eight hour tour on Friday 7 to 3.30. They are working 44 hours week two. Since they are working eight or more hours at least one day on the schedule, this makes this schedule a compressed tour. Also, since they're working an uneven amount of hours, week one and week two, or they're working 36 hours week one, 44 hours week two, for a total of 80 hours, that makes the AWS code six. Now that we have established that this employee's AWS code is a six, let's see if our AWS code is currently correct. When we go to the right side of the screen, Notice that our AWS code is showing zero. We have an incorrect AWS code. So we will need to change this AWS code. What we will need to do is we will need to scroll to the bottom of the screen and find the Employee Timesheet Profile button. 
when I click on the button. It will take us to the employee's timesheet profile to be able to change the AWS code. Notice that the AWS code has a drop down box. This will be the only item in the timesheet profile that has the AWS code drop down box. So I'm going to choose AWS code 6. I'm going to scroll down and hit save. We have now successfully changed our AWS code. So we'll go back up to schedule at the link at the top. And notice that our AWS code is now showing 6, which is correct. For our next example, this is going to be for an employee that works crossover tours or overnight tours. This simply means that this employee's tour of duty starts on the first day and then ends on the next day. Our employee is working 11.30 p.m. to 8 a.m. Tuesday through Saturday, week one and week two. Notice that they work eight hours each day, 40 hours each week for a total of 80 hours. When we look at the schedule, it would be easy to assume that the AWS code would be a zero. However, this is incorrect. Remember at the start of the video, it's going to be an AWS code six because this is for all full-time employees that work a crossover tour because a crossover tour is going to be a compressed schedule. So when we look at the top right side of the screen, we see our AWS code is indeed a 6, so it is correct. Our last example is for an employee that has an AWS code of 8. So for week 1 and week 2, our employee works Monday through Thursday 7 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. They work 10 hours each day for a total of 40 hours each week and 80 hours for the total pay period. Since our employee has worked more than 8 hours at least one day of the schedule, that automatically makes this schedule compressed. So as a result, the AWS code will be an 8 because the schedule is compressed and the hours are even week one and week two. So when we go to the far right side of the screen, we check our AWS code, and we indeed see that our AWS code is an eight, and this employee schedule in AWS code is correct. And this officially completes our Timekeeper training on alternate work schedules, otherwise known as AWS codes.